there folks, JD here. And today I just wanted to go over some of the things that I've printed out related to the RC hobby uh, from my 3D printers as I've got it. So before I actually had the 3D printer, I didn't actually think I was going to use it that much. I thought, okay, a couple of novelty items and that's pretty much it. Actually, it's the other way around. So first of all, what I want to take you through are a few things that I printed to begin with, which were part of the calibration process of the printer. So with these prints, what you're meant to be doing is you just print them out as normal. So you have on your SD card when you get your Ender 3, you have this little dog and you can print this guy out. It takes about four and a half hours to fully complete this print. Uh, but it's good because you can get to see whether all the lines match up, whether or not your printer is calibrated. So there was something slightly off with this dog and you I've spent a long time looking at it so I can see it. I don't know if any of you are going to. The lines look really perfect and they are. They're very, very good. But every now and again, you get a little flick like that, right? Now, okay, that little lump is meant to be there, but the little flick on top of it isn't. And I filed it down, but that let me know that the printer wasn't 100% calibrated. So I went through, I calibrated it, and then I printed this out, which is the Benchy, little benchmark printer, uh, printout. Very, very difficult for a printer to do. Very, very hard angles for the printer to actually complete. And it's over and over and over itself. It really is. And as you can see, there, there's like a tiled effect on the top of the of, of the roof here. Very, very difficult to complete. But the printer completed it with no problem. And then because I like the weird and wonderful, I decided to have a little go at this. This is a Star Wars, almost like a biblical figure. But the head has been replaced with a Stormtrooper head. Uh, and he's holding a, uh, holding a, 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 a little present there. So that was part of the calibration process, just because I wanted to see how this printer was going to work. Now I've got it fully calibrated. I've got the bed calibrated. I'm very, very happy. So then back to uh, so back to the printer for a second. So I printed out a few things to help me with the printer. A couple of things I noticed. So inside here, would you would have a couple of tools inside here. This then just slips underneath the end of three. So it just stays nice and contained. This is a fan cover to stop the PLA filament from getting inside the fan, which is pointing upwards towards the bed and this is a guide rod so inside there you'd put your 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 PLA your filament and then it would guide it there nice and smoothly into uh, the printer itself ready for printing so those are almost a must I would say if you're going to print now then back to purely RC things so what I decided to do was I've got a really old run cam too. I bought a new one not so long ago. This is the old one. This is about a year and a half, two years old. And it's it's in a hell of a state. I have bashed with it. I have It's dropped from quadcopters, landed on concrete. All of this part of the plastic on the inside of the, of the camera is all smashed. Uh, it is in a hell of a state, but it still records good video. So I wanted a nice little case to print out. So I printed this. Took about an hour and a half to print this, two hours. And it just sits in there really, really snugly. You can get access to the back there so you can get access to the battery and to the SD card no problem at all this adds an extra four grams onto the weight of the of the um, of the camera which isn't too bad to be honest the only thing I have got to test out is how good that wide angle lens is with that little hood over the front of it a little uh, yellow hood I may have to just shave that down so it's in line with the hood of the of the run cam but so far to protect this body I'm very happy with that indeed then came the quadcopter builds so far i have just printed out i've got another two which are currently printing now but these are the the alpha one which is what i've coined them and this is the alpha one bare bone here so this is what it looks like just directly from the printer fully 100 percent printed uh there's no screws nothing holding together and then once it's all fully put together with it with your parts this is what it looks like here so this has got a little bit more plastic cement just holding in the little little holes which are down the bottom there holding in the uh, the motors there slightly. Not a lot because some of these motor houses have cracked because I have used this quite a bit actually. It's a lot of fun flying with this and it is extremely light so the power you get through these little tin can co uh, coilless motors is actually really, 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 really good. Uh, so I printed those as well. These take about an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes to complete. Not too bad if you ask me. I think that's pretty good. Now, my crowning glory so far, I think... Uh, is this so what is this well if you saw the tello video the other day then you would have seen this this is a little tello case so inside here i've got my tello i've got my battery i've got my uh, my um my propeller guards in there all nice and snug inside this really nice printed box inside this really nice printed case look at it lovely 
and the lines are very very neat the box is very very neat as well i haven't uh, filed this off either i haven't taken a, a, any sort of fine sandpaper to it just to make it nice and flat it came out nice and flat so i thought i'd leave it as for the lid lid looks okay there's a couple of little marks in it those marks have come off the bed at the time i was still using a plastic bed uh, the one that you get with the endorphina i've gone onto glass instead which is a lot nicer but you can see all of the nicks and all oh, look at that beautiful semicircle around there really nice and tight absolutely fantastic i mean i'm so so in love with this printer it is just printing some fantastic things i'm also printing a couple of other things which i haven't got here to show you but i can tell you what they are so a couple of other things are I'm printing a 110 scale trailer for my Canyon. I'm also printing a 18 scale trailer for my X-Max. I'm printing some more X-Max wheels because I want to give them a try. I'm also printing some GoPro mounts. Uh, I'm also printing a, a gimbal. I'm also printing uh, about four other remote control cars and three other quadcopters. So all in all... Once I've assembled everything, we're going to have a nice stack of things here that we can actually put to the test and see exactly how they go. But for now, my friends, this is only a short video, just showing you exactly what I've done to date as far as the RC hobby goes. And I'm extremely happy with the results. Okay, as time goes on, we're going to be doing a lot more. But for now, I'm really, really happy with everything that we have here. All right, then, my friends, thanks ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy printing.